Welcome everybody to Forza Mod Spot 6 and today we're dealing with the 1982 Porsche 911 Turbo 3.3. So there, yeah, this is the oldest Porsche on 911 on the game, which is a bit unfortunate since there is plenty of other 911s before this one that came out that were solid as well and there have been older ones than this on the game previous games in the series before. But yeah, still nice nonetheless to have this car on the game. Uh, yeah, also known as the 930, this version with this engine was sold between 1978 and 1989, though the 3 litre was sold between 1975 and 1977. And yeah, turbocharged, obviously, that's why it's called the turbo. And the engine is pretty damn impressive, to be honest. It's got an air to air intercooler on it, which helped with the uh, turbo lagging part from the previous uh, model with a 3 litre. And yeah, 296 horsepower, 304 pounds feet of torque from its 3.3 litre flat six engine with a single turbo charger. And yeah, pretty damn impressive in terms of uh, power delivery. Though there is some turbo lag still, there's not as much as there were on the previous model. But it also so known for providing plenty of oversteer as well, which we'll get onto when we get this onto the track. So yeah, this is the 911 where Porsche really got into their stride really because not only does it have all the performance of a 911 that you'd expect but it also has all the practicality from newer models that you'd expect that really came into its own to start with with this one. So yeah, pretty damn luxurious inside for an eight, early 80s car. Got plenty of rear uh, space in the back for other people, though most likely only kids because there's not much leg room at all in there. And yeah, even got a uh, decent amount of space in the boot at the front. So yeah, practical, pretty luxurious and fast as well. Because nearly 300 horsepower back then is pretty damn impressive. And the fact it only weighs 2,866 pounds means yeah, acceleration and speed is really something that's top notch with this car. But obviously we can only have a look at that on the track. So yeah, let's uh, go onto the track and see what this car can do. Right, we're at Watkins Glen short circuit. We're going to take this car around on the first lap and talk through it on the second lap. So as you can see, it's certainly not a slow car for a 30 odd year old car. And yeah, the uh, engine is a dream really, quite frankly. Sounds great, and despite the turbo lag, it is also really, really quick. Up to 60, 5.1 seconds, not to 112.2, and it'll go on to 157 mile an hour top speed, which is impressive even today. So back in 1982, it must have been easily one of the fastest cars on the market. And yeah, Porsche really came into their own with this car, not just in terms of public image and sales, because tens of thousands of these cars were sold over the uh, 11 years. It also really gave the 911 the reputation of a killer, quite frankly. 
even got sued back in the 70s for uh, one of the three litres apparently killing someone. And after that, they even uh, started offering uh, training to uh, anyone who was going to buy one of these things. It was considered that dangerous, and it is in certain ways. There is certainly a lot of oversteer in certain corners, which isn't helped by the turbo lag or the fact that the engine is right at the back, which can make it a bit weighty on the rear end. And having that massive engine, quite frankly, doesn't help either. But overall, it is to drive, certainly fun as well, and thanks to the way it sounds, you just really don't want to change up. Unfortunately it wasn't a 5 speed on offer until 1989, so yeah, you don't get all that much out of it in terms of the 4 speed, but it's still pretty good nonetheless. And yeah, it's easily one of my uh, favourite cars out of the expansion. Uh, it has been on previous games before, but I'm glad to see it's back, and in full Forza Vista mode as well. Anyway, in conclusion, pretty quick car, pretty fun to drive, a classic all round, looks decent as well, even for a Porsche, which I'm usually not a fan of the looks. And yeah, I'm pretty sure if you upgraded it a bit as well, you'd uh, get even more out of it, because there is room for improvement, but it's still fun nonetheless. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.